Hey everyone, Chad here, and uh, hey guys, welcome to some Battlefield 3 footage here. That's the first Battlefield 3 footage I've probably put out here on my channel, so enjoy. This is um, picking this up probably at Metro here, and um, it's a bunch of uh, my friends are playing here in a squad match. We got, well, not a squad squad match, but you'll see in there in the lower left corner there. And uh, basically, throughout this match, you'll see me. I'm um, just really starting to support these guys mainly because I've been playing a lot of Ghost Recon and to be honest I don't play too much of Battlefield 3 uh, as of late so um, if I, my aim might be off as you see right there um, don't make fun of me uh, <laughs> anyways uh, it'll jump around here um, I took out some of the editing here just so it would speed things up and uh, so like I said I'm just strictly running around trying to support uh, mainly um, you know uh, Freak there, uh, Neely and Thiefer. I'm just really kind of just running around trying to lay down support, uh, suppression fire, and that's what I really try to do with uh, Metro, and when, anytime I play with these guys, or, you know, in public matches, it's kind of way different, but when you play with your bunch of guys there, you know, you, you gotta do different kind of uh, game styles, stuff like that, and those are pretty much a nice kill. I kind of walked in on those guys when they're just kind of laying around here, and this is when I'm actually getting used to the UMP-45s, and I'm starting to really get some shots on these guys. But, um, yeah, this, I will say the UMP is probably the only gun I got unlocked right now for Battlefield 3, because, like I said, I've just been mixing around games like crazy as I try to sneak up on this guy, and he just runs out at the perfect time. <laughs> but, as I get killed from behind, but obviously, like I said, this, mainly what I was trying to do with Metro here was, uh, learn what everything was going on, and kind of just, uh, as you see as I go along here through these buildings, through the train station here, um, I try to start, I start flanking them and pushing up right here, as you see, I'm pushing up through the escalators where they come up through here. I'm just trying to quickly, you know, just get a bird's eye view of where they're coming from. Now the stairs here, this was my first time running over here, and I didn't realize they actually come up those stairs. I just try to throw a fast grenade. I actually do get somebody, as you see right there, and that's why I kind of just left that clip in there just to see. But, um, like I said, that caught me by surprise. And this right here, that hallway right down there, I just come around him right now, and I'm really just going to try to flank them. Just check the corner real quick, see if there's a guy there. There's a guy across, he's not worried about him, but this is when it just gets awesome. And this is when, um, actually my Ghost Recon <laughs> playing abilities really stink, because I came up around this guy, and I just laid this guy up, and the last guy's there, and I just could not shoot him. I got a lucky, I don't know if I killed him there or not, but... I didn't know how to knife. I've been so used to playing Ghost Recon. I almost freaked out right there, but nonetheless, I still got the kill. But like I said, anyways, right here, I try to push back up front there. I try to lay some fire down. Obviously, I got picked off, but that's what I was trying to do throughout this whole match, as you see here. Neely was sniping. Um, you know, that's kind of like how we kind of did it. Um, people did different kind of things. Uh, here, I was just really trying to just lay down suppression fire for these guys. Um, kind of, this is when I really got some kill assist here. Uh, mainly for that. I just mainly try to get some fire on these guys. Um, obviously, I don't have an LMG or anything like that or any like heavy machine gun or an M60. I was just simply trying to support. Um, obviously, I'm a recon class right now in the game. I understand that. You guys are saying, oh, support. And there's that flashlight, let's say. As you'll see, you'll see in a clip uh, before this, I mean, I'm, I mean, uh, a little bit more forward into this, is um, the flashlight really throws me off sometimes. It could be your own ally's flashlight, and it just freaks me out every time I've seen it. I'm um, playing Battlefield 3 throughout this day. Um, I was really pissed off. I was just like, oh, man, the flashlight, what the... You know, it always freaks me out thinking it's always an enemy. Um, I used to shoot no matter what, but you'll see it in a later clip that um, I actually freak out and uh, right here I picked up a couple of good headshots there I don't know if I, it didn't register as headshots but that's what I was kind of going for just this hallway got really crazy it always does and uh, grenades and everything I didn't see that grenade icon in the bottom left there and sadly I got killed but here I am again working my way around to flank them and uh, it just works out again this is the second time me flanking and they're all just laying down here there's my knife I finally learned how to knife and then I run up and then just like got finished off that last guy with a knife and it was pretty funny because that time I was prepared with the knife, but you should have seen my reaction the first time. Like I said, it was, I was freaking out. Um, nice shot there. Kind of lucky, I guess. Someone kind of obviously made my life a little bit easier there. But here's the stairs now, trying to lay down support. Get drunk. Now this hallway was actually really dangerous. I didn't realize that. There's that flashlight, the evil flashlight from Neely. I think it was Neely. I wasn't sure, but it freaked me out either way. And uh, now I'm just strictly trying to watch the escalators. And um, on Metro here, as they come up, obviously we um, we're defending, so it doesn't really, you know, really concern that. Um, 
But anyways, you can see here, this hallway was pretty much dangerous for us. It was uh, a whole big deal about that. I, I didn't realize that they were actually sniping that. I just realized I was getting out of there because of that ridiculous. Um, just seeing a bunch of red dots kind of freaked me out. But here I am again. I'm debating whether I should run down here, and I do, and I see this guy lying down. I don't know what he was doing. But he ended up actually hitting me, I thought, but he didn't actually hit me at all. It was just kind of suppression fire effect, which I didn't realize at the time until I looked at my at my health meter. But um, yeah, anyways, um, I'm basically right now this game is we're real, obviously we're, we're dominating. We're actually getting into the um, pushing, still pushing up here, and um, basically here, I, uh, right there, I, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I was just trying to really just lay down fire on a guy, and I, I should, probably should have waited there and reloaded. But kind of didn't, as as I think everyone calls me. As you see, my kill death. Um, Neely has a word for me all the time that I, my my um my battlefield three style is kind of like a, I don't know how to say it. I just run in no matter what. Um, I'm kind of the guy that doesn't. I don't really have a lot of patience sometimes, and my obviously my kill my uh, kill death is not obviously great sometimes. Um, but it stays between the even mark. I mean. I don't get ridiculous where I just run out and die every single time, which kind of right there is kind of a gives you a definition of how I play games mainly. Is that I just I don't have a lot of patience, but you get my kind of my gameplay just by watching that whole thing. But like I said, guys, this is my uh, my first gameplay. Uh, we ended we ended up winning the match, obviously, and um, it was actually a really uh, nice game to be playing back from them. It was kind of my uh, my first game back for Battlefield 3, um, playing that whole thing. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Comments. Um, Obviously, we're working things out here, and uh, hopefully you guys stay with me through all this. And uh, anyways, guys, take care.